Hannah is pounding South Texas. Good morning, I'm Mike Naso from the Tropical Video Update page with a special midnight update on our hurricane. Still a Category 1 hurricane, Hannah. You can see the satellite there, the eye, still over South Texas, north of Brownsville and the border. And heavy rain and gusty winds are definitely impacting those areas right now. Now I have a bit of an update uh, as of midnight from the National Hurricane Center. That's 11 p.m. Central. The Eye of Hanna continuing to move across South Texas. It's at 26.6 north, 98.1 west. That makes it about 15 miles north-northeast of Edinburgh and 30 miles north-northeast of McAllen. And I'll show you McAllen, Texas in a bit. Uh, they're getting hammered and it's going to get worse. Wind still 75 miles an hour. It's still a hurricane moving west-southwest at 8 miles per hour. And uh, that pressure, 979 millibars, and that's from forecaster Jack Bevan at the National Hurricane Center. The big threat right now, excessive rainfall. Uh, this is a graphic that uh, is time sensitive, so it'll change, but this is over the next couple of days, the heaviest rainfall threat from Corpus South, and that's because of Hurricane Hannah moving inland. It'll move over northeast Mexico, but not before causing a lot of flooding and problems. Check out that radar. You can see this is a beautiful radar. This is out of Brownsville. And there's the eye of the hurricane, still a very powerful southern part, southern eye wall, pounding areas there. Port Mansfield got pounded, Padre Island, South Padre Island got pounded, and you still have an onshore flow, and so water rises and gusty winds are likely throughout the night. It's moving west-southwest, but it's not moving too quickly, so it's going to be a prolonged event there in South Texas, and that's why there's such a threat of flooding. Here's from the National Weather Service uh, forecast office in Brownsville. Look at those rainfall totals. 10 to 15 inches north of Harlingen. McAllen, Texas right there. You guys, 8 to 10 inches. And again, this could be an underestimate in some areas. The whole Rio Grande Valley is susceptible to flooding if you get a slow-moving tropical cyclone or heavy rainfalls. And uh, that's what we have with Hurricane Hannah. Brownsville, you guys could get up to 10 inches. And this is all moving across the river. But like the uh, Weather Service says, localized amounts up to 18 inches possible. Very, very serious. Here's the radar out of Brownsville, and you can see McAllen, Texas. You guys are right in the southern eye wall right now getting pounded. And that's pretty heavy rain there, those yellows. And look at offshore. Very nasty weather offshore. And this is going to be moving across South Padre Island and into Texas and northern Mexico. So Brownsville, Matamoros. Uh, what else is down there? South Padre, Port Isabel. You guys are not out of the woods yet at all because you still have to deal with all this offshore and that's going to bring in gusty winds and very heavy torrential rains. That shows up pretty good on the water vapor imagery. You can see the uh, high pressure flow here off towards the north uh, of the hurricane pushing it in that west-southwest direction. There's the eye wrapping up there a bit. Look at how the convection was kind of weak and now it wraps up again. Very, very favorable environment there with those hot waters and that's why we're having the convection blowing up there and all of that moisture is going to be moving inland into Texas and Mexico and that's why that rainfall threat is so serious. You can see the ventilation around the hurricane still very impressive here. Hurricane Hannah definitely one for the July hurricane record books. Now, uh, I didn't want to leave out the storm surge. You're still going to have an onshore flow. Remember, that's a constant fetch coming in off the western gulf. And that's why this is as of 11 p.m., 10 p.m. central uh, from the Hurricane Center. We could still have one to three feet of surge down here. We could have four to six feet all the way up towards Baffin Bay and Port Aransas as the uh, eye of the hurricane continues to move in. You keep getting that fetch coming off the gulf. And that water rise is why we have... Uh, the threat of storm surge all the way up towards the Galveston Bay area, one to two feet, all the way down to Brownsville. Now, I mentioned McAllen, Texas. This is uh, the National Weather Service page out of McAllen, Texas, and you can see uh, the wind gusts here. Look at the last few hours. It was in the 20s, gusting into the 30s, the 40s, and now it's gusting into the 50s, and uh, the visibility sucks. The rain's very heavy. Just a very nasty night. Look at the barometric pressure was 1,007 millibars. It's down to 993 as they are in the southern eye wall of Hurricane Hannah. And the last uh, update was around midnight. 
and that was almost 30 minutes ago, so it's probably even worse now. So again, if you're in extreme south Texas, if you still have power, if you see this update, just hunker down and uh, wait this thing out and stay away from uh, low-lying areas where flooding and flash flooding will likely take place. Now, I did want to touch on our wave out in the central Atlantic. This is Invest 92L, and uh, it's not that impressive, but it's definitely out there. And uh, if it develops, which right now it has a very high chance over the next three to five days, it should move generally in a west-to-west-northwest direction. And I got to tell you, these computer models, whether it's the GFS or the European or the UK Met earlier, want to take this system in the general direction of land further west. So this is a problem, okay? If it develops, it's going to be a major problem, a major player down the road, which is why we're going to keep an eye on it. Right now, it's not a named storm, but it very well may become one. Hurricane Douglas out in the Pacific, still 90 miles an hour, is moving west-northwest. That hurricane warning's out for uh, the state of Hawaii up here. Oahu, you guys are going to be very close to seeing if it makes landfall or just brushes to the north. And if it's a tropical storm or a hurricane, regardless, it could be a wet day there on the big island. You can see there's the satellite as the sun goes down out there in the Pacific. There's the center of the hurricane, and there is the state of Hawaii. So definitely a threat there. If you're in Hawaii, be sure to watch Douglas very carefully. So that'll do it uh, for uh, Hurricane Hannah right now. Still a very nasty night there in South Texas with the eye of the hurricane pounding north of Brownsville with a constant fetch of moisture. Flooding rainfall is the biggest threat, along with strong, gusty winds. Stay tuned. I'll talk to you next time.